All right, so uh, in this video, we're gonna be looking at video templates. And these templates are a great way to get a head start on creating video content for your brand or say for your client's products if, if you're doing this for a client. So what I wanna do in this tutorial is give you an overview of a video template file and show how you would typically use one. So when you open the file, you'll see that on the left-hand side, uh, we have a bunch of different assets organized into folders. Template assets contains various elements that simply make up all of these graphics. Then we have pre-animated comps. Uh, and in here we have comps uh, like this one, where we have a whole shot already fully animated. And you can easily edit uh, anything you want or swap out these mockups uh, with your own. And I'll go through them in detail in a couple of seconds. And lastly, we have a library folder that contains a whole bunch of uh, various elements like uh, backgrounds, buttons, and all sorts of graphics that you can use in your shots. Okay, so I guess I can start by looking at uh, pre-animated comps. So these are the comps just like this one, uh, and we have uh, them broken up into different types of shots. Like for example, this intro shot, which you can use to introduce a product. Then say we have a couple of uh, product sales comps, and it's comps that you can use um, to sell your products. So for example, this one is a carousel. And if I scrub through it, you can see that it has a intro animation where the shot uh, builds up. Then uh, over here, we have a product title. Uh, it says uh, it's a promotion, shows the discount. We have a product here and uh, some sort of a special offer that displays uh, uh, the newly discounted price. And then after a few seconds, it switches to a different product. And then once again, you can change all of this content uh, to fit the needs of your, of your video. Then we have a shot like this where you can introduce a whole range of products. Next, we have some features and benefits shots. So here's a benefit shot where we can see a product animating in. And then we have its benefits um, one by one animate into place. And again, everything is editable. We have ingredients. So maybe you want to show the ingredients that make up your product. Then next we have some product shots, um, which you can use for your B-roll. Like for example, this one where we have three products uh, in front of us and the camera is slowly panning around them. So it looks like a real 3D shot, but this is all done in After Effects. Then here we have some call to action shots, which are essentially like a final shot that you have in an ad. So it brings up a product, brings in some message, and then it all stops urging the viewer to take some sort of a call to action. So see here, it says, uh, get it now. And then finally over here, we have a few text-based shots like this quote, which you can use to say something aspirational. And we also have some titles uh, that you can use uh, in between different shots. So for example, this shot says November promotion. And then after the shot, you could easily have the product carousel that promotes uh, two or three different products uh, available in that promotion. And so logically, you can think of these pre-animated comps as shots that you can stack together to create a story about your product. You could start with an intro shot, then show a few B-roll shots, cut to a title shot that transitions into a promotion, and then wrap it up with a call to action shot that drives traffic to your store. So as you can see, these comps can save you a ton of time when creating uh, any kind of product ads or, or presentations. Now let me close all of these guys and we can take a look at how you'd go about editing one of these comps. So here's my intro shot and pretty much all of the elements here are fully editable. So if I want to, I can change the copy here by saying Introducing Video Tutorial. And that top line is too big, so I can make it smaller. And there you go. 
So pretty straightforward stuff, right? Um, next, let's say we want to change the colors. So this varies from template to template uh, in terms of how it is set up. But here in the flow video template, we have uh, this comp over here called uh, template settings, where you'll find this global colors layer. And then on it, you'll find a bunch of controls which allow you to change colors, not only on one scene, but on all of the scenes at the same time. So for example, say our bottle here was, uh, and let me do a quick, uh, quick hack here. Hue saturation. So let's say uh, maybe we had a brand uh, that had more like blue and purple uh, colors in its palette. So in that case, uh, what I can do is I can go into this guy and make it pink. And then change this guy into more like blue. And right away, you can see how this template is uh, starting to match our product. And now if I switch over to one of the other shots, once again, you can see that everything has been updated, even the small graphical elements uh, like this guy over here. And now this does work a little bit differently on some of the other templates. So let me show you how uh, it's set up on, say, the Elegance video template. So as you see in this template, uh, we don't have a global color controller uh, over here. And instead you adjust your settings per scene. It's also a little simpler here. So the only thing that you can change here is the background color. And if you want to, you can make it green. And so if I switch to this scene, you can see that it has its own controller and we can make it, uh, let's say, light blue over here. And then text, um, text is adjusted just like any normal text over here. So let's switch back to our flow template. And now that you know how to customize your shots, I want to show you how to add one of your own mockups into the scene. And uh, maybe let's open up a different scene so that we have uh, a few more elements we can work with. Um, maybe this guy, uh, call to action one. Let me quickly preload this so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so here we have a product that comes in like that. And then it settles into its position. And then all of these other graphics uh, pop in at the very end. So now say I don't need this box, so I can turn it off. And the only thing that I want to use here is this bottle. Now say I have a prepared uh, bottle that I want to use in this ad. And if I want to bring it into this project, I simply go File, Import, File, and then I find the product that I want to bring in here. Open, and it imports the whole file into my video template project. So over here, you will always find these uh, three comps that contain different variations of the product. The first one is where it's floating, then this one where it's lying down on its back, and then this is where the bottle is standing upwards. So in this scene, I have a standing bottle, and so I want to replace it with another standing bottle. To do that, I simply select my bottle layer over here. I select my standing bottle over here. I hold down the Alt or the Option key on the Mac. I press the mouse and drag it over like that then release the mouse and then the Alt key. And you can see that swapped out my placeholder with my custom bottle. Now let's take a look at a different scene, like my intro shot, where I have a bottle that's lying on its back. Um, and again, I find the lying down. I drop it over and it's swapped out. I can change the scale, 60, and that perfectly fits into my scene. Uh, now, the only thing that I should probably mention here is that when you have a, a lying down version, you see how it has this uh, shadow over here? So I can actually adjust which way it's falling. Um, like for example, maybe I wanted it to fall more downwards over here. So for that, I double click into this layer. I go into its comp. I select my shadow settings layer, go in here. And I can see that at the moment, the shadow is pointing this way. So I can change its direction like that. And here it is. 
And if I go back into my intro shot, uh, the shadow updates over here as well. Let's just quickly preview this scene. And here you go. And now let's say I wanted to adjust its animation in this scene. Say, like for example, let's say I wanted to look straight uh, at the camera as it comes into its final position here. And then here I wanted to be more on an angle. So let's try to change that uh, and I'll show you how it works. So on the mockup, when we have this layer selected, we can go into its effects tab and over here we have a product rotation controller. So what we can do here is I can select these two keyframes where it's uh, where it's stopped at this location and I can change its angle so that uh, it's rotated a little bit more to the left. And then say here at the very end, I want it to be looking straight at the camera. There, like that. And then another thing that I'm noticing here is that uh, perhaps it's a little too big. So let's scale it down. 70. And now it's also too high. If, so if I want to lower it, I have to do it on all three of these keyframes. So I select all three of them. I place my time indicator over either one of them. This will ensure that I'm affecting all three of them at the same time and I lower it down. Then I go to this last guy, and maybe it's a little too far, so let's move it forwards uh, on its uh, z-axis. And let's straighten out these guys too. Okay, so let me do a quick preview of this shot. All right, and I think that kind of covers the pre-animated comps. Now, the last thing I want to touch on here is these animated graphics. Let me close all of these guys and let's take a look at our library. So the first thing that we can edit here is our backgrounds. Let me see which one we have here at the moment. Top view one. So it's this guy over here and I can swap it out with either one of the other ones. So say I pick this front view background. And as you can see, it's uh, as easy as that. Everything's animated, everything's in the right place, and everything just works. Or maybe I find a different one. Maybe I want to use this one. And that can work just as well. So there's a bunch of them, and you can just swap them out using the same technique um, of, of holding the Alt key and then dragging them over. So that's backgrounds. And then we have some buttons. And uh, here we have this Get Now button which is this guy over here. Now, if we go into it, you will see that it's not just a simple graphic um, and that there's quite a few controls uh, we can use to adjust how this button looks. Here, I can choose a couple of different styles of the button. I can make it uh, a gradient where these two guys are controlling its colors. I can make it 3D. I can make it an outline. I can change its text color, outline color, I can also change the roundness of the corners. And as you can see, it's super easy to customize it. I can even change this text over here to say, uh, get more. And the button automatically resizes to match uh, my new title. So it's a pretty smart button here that should make your life a lot easier when you're trying to customize it. To add it to your scene, you simply drag and drop it like that. And then at the very bottom here, we have uh, small graphics. And small graphics are all of these guys over here. Like this 100% satisfaction badge or this uh, big sale graphic in the corner. I can go into this badge graphic, select uh, text and change it to something else like 30% discount. This one's pretty straightforward. Then uh, over here, we have another badge that says new, which you could use when you're introducing a new product. And then these two guys are pretty cool how they work. So you see this guy over here. Um, and let's say I want to move it to this corner because maybe there's something uh, in the way here. Um, 
So typically this would be a bit of a pain, uh, but here I can easily do that by going into this comp, selecting settings, and then in its uh, effects tab, I change this uh, item position to top right, and it automatically sticks to this corner. So now if I go back to my shot, I can easily place it over here. And if I play the animation, we will see that it perfectly animates there in that corner. That's pretty nice, right? So there you go. That's a quick overview of how to use these video templates. And as you can see, uh, they are just packed with lots of great elements that you can use right out of the box. And if you want to, you can customize them to your needs in the matter of minutes. So thanks for watching and uh, feel free to get in touch if you have uh, any questions at all.